Hi, and welcome to Now Testing Products. So, I've received a couple emails from my viewers asking me about the Bosch Tassimal T20 coffee maker. So, I decided today I'd go ahead and do a review on it, show you guys how it works, and just talk a little bit about it so that you guys can familiarize yourself with this particular coffee maker. Now, I think Bosch has done an awesome job on this machine. They've added a lot of great little features to it to make your experience making coffee quite easy and myself, I thought, a lot of fun. One of the key things in the back here that I really liked is they gave you a fairly large water tank to hold water. It gives you about 1.5 liters of water. You just simply lift up the little black lid here and you can fill it up. Now you can use filtered water or just simply run tap water through there. And then it's got the little spout in the bottom which will sit right in the back of the tank here and that's it. Now they also give you three different levels. So if you want to make just a standard cup of coffee, you can do that. Or you can pull the bottom right out and put a travel mug in there, which I really liked. And it comes out quite easy. You can also put it up in the top level if you want to make yourself an espresso. Today we're just going to be making a basic cup of coffee, so we're just going to put it in the bottom level right there, put our cup underneath there, and that's it. Now, Tassimo has given their consumers a lot of choices. In coffees, teas, they've even given you a hot chocolate, which I really like. So when you go shopping, you've got a wide range of products out there that you could try. And I recommend trying each one of them because myself personally, I really like the products that Tassimo's come out with. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you how to use the machine. But before you use the machine, you're going to want to run this little yellow disc that you get. It also has a little barcode on it. Now, I've already done that, but to clean your machine, you're going to want to do this for the first time. Now, I kind of recommend hanging on to this so that you can periodically clean your machine. Now, let's go ahead. We're going to turn the machine on. All the lights will come on, and then a little orangey indicator light will come on when it's ready to go. Now, today we're just going to make a standard cup of coffee. So we're going to go with the uh, Tassimol here, Nabob 100% Colombian coffee. Now, you simply just pull the box up, and you've got your little disc here. Of course, it's got the barcode on it, and it only goes in one way. So it's pretty easy to operate. You're going to simply put it barcode facing down. There's a little lip right here, so you can't make a mistake. And then you're going to simply push it down, and that's it. And it's going to pierce the disc, and then you're basically, you're ready to go. You're going to simply hit the button, and the coffee maker is going to start up. And it doesn't take very long. It's already starting to bring water into the system and heat itself up. And here we go. You can actually hear it starting to work already. Again, I think Bosch has done an awesome job on this particular coffee maker. I'm going to give this coffee maker a 10 out of 10. And not very often I give a product a 10 out of 10. Not only is the coffee maker really easy to use, but the price point I found on this particular coffee maker, I was actually able to pick up this coffee maker for around $100, which I thought the price point being $100 for a really good coffee maker like this and the options that you get in the different kinds of coffees and teas and hot chocolate, I thought was great. And once again, Bosch has done an awesome job with this particular coffee maker. As you can see here, we're getting a nice fresh cup of Nabob coffee. Doesn't take very long, so you can simply put the disc in, start the coffee maker, and go get ready for work or whatever activity you chose to do for that day while your coffee is being made. Now it is making one cup of coffee so but if when you're done making the one cup again very quickly you can pull that cup out put another disc in and make another cup of coffee for somebody else if there's two of you. So because of the tank in the back holding a lot of water you can make a lot of cups of coffee in a short period of time with this particular machine and that's it we're done. A nice, fresh, hot cup of coffee. If you've got any other questions about this product, or you'd like to see me make something else in this particular machine, send me an email to nowtestingproducts at gmail.com. 
I'm on Facebook, Steve on your side, and I'm always on Twitter at Testing Products. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more product videos and reviews.